This video will serve as an introduction to two common genetics terms, those terms being genotype and phenotype. They're kind of confusing for beginners to genetics and they are also good for people who are getting back in the genetics game after being out of it for a while. Uh, we'll start with genotype. Now genotype is the actual genetic material or what your genes and your DNA actually say. Um, as you might know, what's everything that's in our DNA might not actually be manifesting, meaning like all the different genes we have for hair color might not actually be showing up or affecting the hair color that we have. Uh, we get one set of genes or one set of DNA from our father and we get one set of genes or one set of DNA from our mother. Now they combine into two sets of genes or two sets of DNA and that really is our genotype, meaning what our total uh, DNA says. Now some parts of that DNA, like I kind of mentioned, they're not active or they're not showing. So like for hair color, we might actually have two sets of instructions for what our hair color should be. Our father might be saying something and our mother might be saying something. Now we'll talk about this in a different video, but one of those uh, in the simple Mendelian form of inheritance, which is all we're going to talk about in this video, one of those sets of genes is going to win out. So in our genotype, let's say we have two different options. Dad said we should have uh, one set of of hair color and mom said we should have another set of hair color. So our genotype is now combined, Y and X. However, for reasons we'll get into in a different video, let's say that Y is a more powerful gene than X and Y means red hair and X means blue hair. So now we go over here to phenotype, we're going to kind of change gears a little bit because phenotype is the genes or the genetic material that actually manifests, that actually uh, affects us. It's the dominant genes, if you've heard of, of that term in, in this simple example. And so like we were just talking about, let's say that Y is the uh, more powerful or the dominant gene, and that's for red hair color. That means that our phenotype will be red hair. So someone could come to you and someone could ask, what is this organism's genotype for hair color? And you'd say, you know, the full answer. You won't just say red hair because they actually have some blue hair in there too. So you'd say their genotype is Y and X or red hair and blue hair or big B, little B or whatever example you're using, whatever code you're using to denote the different genes. However, if someone, if someone came to you and said, okay, now what is that organism's phenotype? You wouldn't mention the blue. You would just mention what you see. So you'd say they have red hair. Uh, others example of phenotype are like... Um, they are, you know, tall, or they are um, blue-eyed, or any, anything that actually manifests itself, it, it can have all sorts of things, from morphology to development um, to behavior. Um, there's all sorts of different things. So phenotype is actually what, not what matters, but actually what comes about from the genes and the genotype, which is the, involves the entire uh, set of genetic material, not just what is important.